Some people say Ralph's crazy for doing what he did. <laughs> he threw away a six-figure income and a comfortable life to make a life-threatening journey halfway around the world in a flats boat he designed. So the wife is mad at me a little bit. A very small boat <laughs> for a very big ocean. How she has reason to be. His voyage received national attention. Ralph Brown pushed his flats boat through waters anything but flat. He took a vessel meant for the shallows and put it out to sea. But he didn't do it for the recognition. He says he did it to keep his word to three Marines who died during a U.S. military operation in Iran 29 years ago. We kind of wanted to do this trip and uh, use the publicity from this trip to promote Wounded Hero Foundations. It was a tiny engine that pushed he and his brother Bob more than 6,200 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Critics called it the little boat that couldn't. Now it's become the little boat that did. <laughs> it was a rough journey for the battered little craft. It's broke here, here. This boat had a beating. With no cabin, it was man versus nature. Heading into rugged Icelandic waves, the expedition became perilous. When you're in the middle of the ocean, there's no off switch. <laughs> the Atlantic sometimes seemed too powerful for their humble vessel, but even more powerful was their cause. Quitting is not an option. It never was an option. And by the way, when you send a soldier into combat, Quitting's not an option. Like the Marine he used to be, he has a mission. Just, you know, do what you gotta do. No waves, no glaciers, <laughs> no equipment malfunctions. Wow. This is our speed prop that we lost. And no doubts. Now along with the Coast Guard, the wives of the two men weren't too happy about the trip. Are going to stop him as long as stubborn Ralph has the helm. There's no doubt in my mind about it. And here they are now after two months on the quiet Rhine River in Germany almost done with their journey with a world record for the longest oceanic crossing in a flats boat. <laughs> Until they've reached their ultimate destination, Bonstol Regional Medical Center in Germany where they will meet with wounded soldiers and their ultimate goal of raising three million dollars for wounded heroes. Do more than just say thank you to the wounded heroes and the families left behind. They won't be raising any flag of surrender. And I just salute you. Army Sergeant Amanda Ford, Wiesbaden, Germany.